Hey guys, Erica here, Scrap Diva 29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today to share with you a project share. I was finally able to get some crafting done Saturday evening. My husband took my boys to the Atlanta Braves baseball game and then my daughter had went shopping with her grandma. So I had the whole house to myself Saturday evening, which was really nice and not um, not normal for us. But anyway, um, let me share with you what I made. Um, I first want to say I was inspired by Miss Marissa, who is Creative Young Mama here on YouTube. Hi, Marissa, if you're watching. Um, I think last week or maybe a week before, she had made some really pretty um, embellishments using crepe paper, and she did lots of layers and used a lot of fun, like, Project Life embellishments, I think, and I was inspired to try to make something similar um, to what she had made and so what you're looking at right here is this beautiful little flower and I did use crepe paper which I had got at the scrapbook expo last year and what I did was I used my Sizzix die which is this one right here and it is the lotus I believe yes lotus and um, I die cut three flowers out of the crepe paper and then I layered it with the uh, tutu trim in between each layer and um, used a recollection butterfly and then two pearls from my stash. And I think it came out really pretty. She had suggested, you know, you could put it on packaging or obviously you can put it on a scrapbooking project as well. But um, I just thought it came out really pretty. So that's the first one. And then this one is just using um, one layer of crepe paper, some of that gold, uh, trim from Target and then one of these sparkly bows from um, Hobby Lobby and I thought that was cute just a cute embellishment and then this one right here is just a bigger um, flower I made a rosette with the crepe paper and then used the same stretchy tutu to trim and then another layer of trim and then I added one of those Michaels um, bows from the $1.50 section which I thought was pretty all right moving along I was also inspired uh, by Alexandria who is papers and stuff. Last week she shared a tutorial on how to make these paper tassels and when I saw her tutorial I knew that I was going to want to to try to make some so I finally got to make some and the, let me tell you they are addicting. Uh, once you start making them you just want to keep making more but um, these are the ones I made and I really like the way they came out. Marissa also had made um, made some as well and I was inspired by some of the ones she had made. So this is what I um, came up with and this one is my favorite right here with this pretty pink. I think that might be a Jesse Jane bead. I'm not really sure. I know I got it at Michael's. And then I used some of this um, gold heart paper, which is also from Michael's. And I just thought that was really cute. I made my own bow with some trim out of my stash. So there's that one. And then I made another one. That was my favorite. So I made two of those. And then I made this one. And I think Marissa made something similar to this one using this um, Target trim. Or maybe, I know Target had it, but also Michaels has it as well. And I just thought that was really pretty. And since gold is really popular right now, I figured this could match several different projects. So that's why I was stuck with the gold theme. And this one is um, gold and teal, like a teal blue. And I thought that was pretty. And I just made my own gold bow. And that's the way this one looks. And then this one is a little shabby. I used some floral paper and some bead trim. And then I used a heart bead right here, which I thought came out really cute. So that's the way this one looks. And I made another one using some different trim. And I used flat back pearl around the edge or on the top. And then I added this little butterfly, um, like acrylic butterfly. So that's, what, that's the way that one turned out. And then the last one, I just used some trim from Michaels, that flower trim, pink and white paper, and then I used this little tiny bow, which I thought was really cute, and I like the way that came out. So I'm looking forward to um, being able to use these paper tassels in a project. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people attach them to flip books and of course, you can attach it to your planner. Several different uses for those. And then I also made some of these tassels. Um, 
and Marissa also inspired me to do this. And I went out to Hobby Lobby and the day I'd went, I went to their clearance section and they had this um, trim on sale for 15 cents. And so I had picked up like three, maybe four colors and they were only 15 cents, so it can't beat that. And then I picked up the thread that she had suggested and I made some of these tassels to put on paper clips and she had some really cute projects. And um, I just thought, oh, that's so cute. So I really, this was something else that I had wanted to try to make, so I did and that's the way they came out. I think I got a little bit better um, at it as I went. I think if you wrap the, the gold thread around several times, it looks a lot better. And I love the purple one. So those are my little tassels right here, my paper clip tassels. And then the last one that I made was a yarn tassel. And I added a charm, which says live, which I got from Hobby Lobby, no, no, Michaels and I think it came out pretty cute. I was gonna add another charm, but I couldn't find the one I was looking for, so I just added this one, but I think it came out really cute. So this is my project share for today, uh, for Monday. I hope you guys have a fabulous week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Bye for now.